Some days you win, some days you lose. Today, I won. Traders, I want to talk a little bit about my TAL trade, but uh, just before that, uh, here's how I'm going to finish my day. As you can see here, I'm going to finish it up like 11 grand, which is great. I finished yesterday like around 19 grand and I'm, I'm really having a great week. Hope you guys are doing too. And um, although it's my only loser today, TAL, my second trade was a winner. So the total is five green trades, one big loser in TAL. I want to explain the big loser. Okay, so sometimes uh, you can learn more from losing than from winning and this time I'm going to talk about TAL. There was nothing wrong about the TAL trade. I took it right over here somewhere. I can't remember exactly the entry point uh, when it was, uh, well, it started with a gap down today, big gap down, like 10%. It was my main, my, my, my main candidate. Uh, the first move was down, then it moved higher, then it reversed and that was a clear uh, get in sign if you're looking for a gap and go. Big gap over 3%, a very big gap around 10%. Try to move higher, failed, coming down, you expect it to continue moving lower. Just like ha what happened in, for example, Oracle, uh, which uh, behaved exactly like textbook gap and go, it's down 6% right now. TAL should have been better because it's down 10%. Again, volume's good, everything was nice about it, but they don't always do what you expect them to do, sadly. Well, actually, I, I should say I'm happy that they don't do it because otherwise, if it would have been too easy, then everybody would have been trading. And of course, we couldn't uh, hang on because everybody was making money and everybody in the world was... <laughs> you get what I mean, right? I mean, it, you can only make money in trading if uh, it's hard enough. So if it would have been easy, too easy, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been a profession in which you can make money from. Just, just a thought. Anyway, so TAL failed. It moved higher. My stop should have been around 26.50, 51 or so. But the fact is, it did not move up gradually, slowly higher. It spiked up in two one-minute candles, passed over 26.50 and went all the way to 26.70 something. And then finally established a high over here. So I was waiting and waiting and I gave it a little bit more. You know, sometimes I get bigger winners because I wait over my target price, which is the right thing to do because that, that's the way to get a, a, a better risk reward ratio. That's the way to get a better trade. You just let it ride a little bit more if you don't have any signs that it's going to pull back the wrong way. Uh, in the case of TAL, sometimes when you have something like that, especially when the price is spiking just like it did in TAL, you wait because you, you, and you and I'm ready to take a little bit more loss than I usually do. It's quite rare. You don't often see me do that. You don't really see me waiting for taking a bigger loss or much bigger loss than I than I expected. So in fact, I had a uh, 30 cents more loss than I expected. Stop should have been 26.51, was 26.76. I think it it also moved a little bit, a few more cents higher. So that's why I had a big first losing trade in TAL. I think I was down like nine grand and sadly, that was my first trade. <laughs> that was my first trade. I hate to start like that, but it happens. The, the thing is, I did not move here. I was waiting for the consolidation, hoping that it's going to come down. Now, you have to remember, when the stock is starting down 10%, it's likely to finish down. Not always, but it's likely to finish down. So you can wait for a second trade. And I was waiting for a second trade, not before it took me out, once it moved over the highs. So, you know, you, 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 you let it consolidate. You wait to the point where you really see the price calming down. You, you do not move out on a spike up. You do not do that. You're ready to lose a little bit more. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you make more, sometimes you lose more. It's a part of the game. Quite rare, but it's a part of the game. And then it consolidated, but then sadly, it moved over the highs. I gotta have a stop loss. I gotta have a stop loss somewhere. And once it consolidated and moved over the highs and tricked me there because it moved just a little bit and then came down, well, I had to move up. That's where I, where I knew I needed to take my loss. I, th there's no other way. I just had to take my loss. Had to stop it right over there, over the highs. And I did, and I took the loss. But 
I do expect it to come down. Stock is down 10%. At that point, maybe it was down 7 or 8%. Anyway, it came down and uh, we entered, we re entered over here uh, for a second uh, short trade. My, my winner's second trade was not as good as my, <coughs> as my first. In fact, it was uh, approximately uh, half as good as my first. Um, I did not have the same size, I had a little bit less. And that's because when you take a second trade, are you taking the second trade because you are, I mean, always think about it, you know, question your motives. Are you taking the second trade because you want a revenge trade? Are you taking it because you really think it's a good trade? Since I do question my motives and I should question my motives because I'm human like everyone and I do have the feeling like I want to pay back on uh, TIL. So I was lowering my size and second trade just didn't finish as bad, as good. Uh, as to cover my first trade. So the end result in TAL is a losing trade, but the thing is, second trade went out fine. First trade, I did the right things. I'm sure I did the right things. I always question what I did afterwards, trying to figure out if I did or I did not, but it's important to, to know that. And if you're writing a diary or whatever, trading diary or whatever, just keep writing the reasons why you moved in, why you moved out is extremely important. I no longer do it. I'm trading for 21 years, but definitely question what you did. Look back and think, did I move out? Okay, was it the right point uh, or what? So anyway, um, I did the right thing by uh, moving out when it moved to a new high. I did the right thing by letting, letting it move a little bit over my stop loss. And I did the right thing by getting into my second trade in TAL. And again, sometimes you learn more from your losers than you learn from your winners. Um, David, to tell you about my experience testing the jet. Oh, <laughs> I really loved it. It was the first time I flew a jet. What can I say? I mean, <laughs> but yeah, it was just amazing. It was fun some other time. Anyway, thank you very much, traders. Uh, if you're on YouTube, we will really appreciate if you give us a thumb up, uh, not only for this uh, small, short education lesson, but for the fact that you are with us and uh, we appreciate your company and we hope that we help you learn throughout the whole session, not just this part. So how about a thumb up? And uh, thank you very much for joining. Thank you for participating. I'll see you all tomorrow um, and uh, just enjoy the rest of your day. Bye traders.